Hey everybody, here's a video, a uh, pretty long video on how to remove a dashboard out of an LS 430. So bought this 430 for a really good uh, price. Um, of course, like any other old vehicle, there's some stuff you gotta do. Um, but for me, um, there's one eyesore that I do have to fix and right away, this is what my lady sees um, when she sits in my car. Um, looks like acne, um, really an eyesore. Uh, so apparently the LS430 dashes, uh, when it comes to heat, uh, they bubble up like this. I don't even feel like touching it, but yeah, this is what you end up seeing on these dashboards. Um, so really quick, um, first thing you want to do is turn on your car. All right. And make sure that your steering wheel is all the way down and all the way out. All right, by pressing that lever. All right, when it's all the way down and all the way out, you're gonna wanna go to your battery and remove the positive terminal. All right, don't judge me, it's rusted, I know. All right, just in case I already had loosened this up. It wasn't loose, I loosened it up for the video. All right. So now that's all done. Now when I do turn off or, oh, the reason I did that is because when I do put it on the off position, it does not go back to its uh, original setting, like when the car's off. So it stays down, all right? Um, by doing that too, you're, um, you're cutting out the power to the, to the radio, to the navigation system, and um, you know, in case, wires touch or pinch um you don't blow a fuse so let's start with that um all right now let's go ahead and get to this stuff all right so the dashboard again the car's a 2005 ls430 uh what i did not know is that it comes with a gun compartment now this compartment gun compartment all right it's a single one and um I did not know that the earlier models came with a double. So when I went to the junkyard, um, I pulled everything out, yanked everything out. Um, so I'm going to go step by step on how to do that. Um, what I did not know that they come with a double compartment. And I'll show you that here in a second. The tools that you're going to need for this is going to be a 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter um, sockets, um, 6 inch extension, 3 inch extension. I have a flexible, uh, a flexible drive here, um, um, just for those hard to get places. Um, flathead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver to use as a pry, Phillips, and of course, you drill a gun. Um, I did use the ratchet when I was removing it, so have this uh, available as well. This double compartment is one on the top and one in the bottom. All right, I did not know that. This one is just a single gun compartment. All right, this one has a double gun compartment. All right, what I did do is cut out the cables for the light source that's inside. So there's a light source up here and a light source down there. This one just has one. So um, where it does meet, I'm gonna go ahead and split that so I could get lighting on both compartments. So make sure to get this if you do get a earlier model of the LS430 dashboard. Now, here comes the fun part. I do not know, I do not know if this fits into this one. So that's the first thing I'm gonna be doing. And um, I'll be back and I'll be showing you how to actually disassemble um, or take out and um, take out, pull out the dashboard, all right? All right, so first thing first we're gonna do is uh, remove the glove compartment. All right, underneath is a panel. You can probably pull out that panel with your hands. All right. One, two, three. All right, there's a light source right there. So let's go ahead and unplug that light source. All right, after you unplug the, the, the plug for the light source or for the light, um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. And you wanna take that out. Save all your bolts. 
All right. Next thing you want to do is remove this uh, trim. Um, you could pry it out with your fingers from the side here and it should come out. Not that easy, but you do have um, some uh, prongs here that you just need to yank out. Um, do it nice and slow because you do not want to break this. All right. And then here you're going to have some Phillips. Um, Phillips or eight millimeters sockets. Take all those three out. All right. Now, after you take out those three uh, eight millimeter um, screws, all right, they're right there. Um, you're gonna wanna wedge all this out and it should come okay. out. So I figured out why they um, went from a double compartment to a single compartment. There is an airbag, all right? There's an airbag here for the knees. Um, it says it right there knee ear bags all right so there's two bolts up here um now i do not know if um well they don't come with it yep it does not come with it um so i could see why um they um took out that one um now the plug for the airbag is back here all right, it's here, this yellow one. Um, you gotta have to slide it out, pull it out. But I do not know if the airbag system will work if that airbag is not connected. All right, so I am not responsible for any uh, accidents that you get into and the airbag does not deploy because this is not connected. So um, I'll be taking it off anyway. This shit is horrible. All right now after you take out those two 10 millimeter bolts now it should come out like so Ugh. Ugh. like so like so okay this little shit here doesn't want to get out it came out like so you got to push that little thing in um here's your airbag connector all right and then the same wire harness has another a uh, cord here or plug there for um, more lights uh, now the plug for the airbag um is not yeah right there this is where you disconnect it all right now to disconnect this airbag from an ls uh 04 and up with the knee airbags um you will need to get little uh tool like this I forgot what's it called all right, and then you want to pop it up, and then when it pops up, it will disconnect. All right, that simple. So this is like a locking mechanism here for it. I'll push that back in. All right, just like so. And then when you pop up, it will disconnect. All right, now we got that out the way. Airbag comes out. All right, so further. Um, so I ran into a a, a quick. Uh, you know a speed bump here um i wanted to keep the double glove compartment um because i just wanted it um it was different you know never had a car with a double glove compartment or as i like to call it gun compartment um but i need to keep the airbag system i want to keep the airbag system for you know safety reasons um if i do disconnect it and i leave it without the airbag um i probably i probably might mess up the system you know if i get into an accident god forbid um you know, I want the system to work, the system to work 100%. So I will be keeping the single gun compartment uh, for the airbag system. Um, if you don't, if you don't, you will need to keep the bracket from the 01, um, from the 01 and take out the, these two 10 millimeter bolts. And then you'll be able to put the bracket from the earlier model. However, on the other side is welded on. So you will not be able to change this bracket. You will need to cut it or something because um, when you put the double glove compartment there, it's gonna hit it, all right? So again, change this side out, cut this side out, leave this wires hanging. Then you're gonna need to um, jump the wires um, with that plug that I showed you earlier in the video so you can get some um, light inside the glove compartment. Um, next step <laughs> is removing this bad boy. All right, so next thing we want to do is uh, take out this uh, 10 millimeter bolt, 8 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt, and another 10 millimeter bolt. All right, 
Now, after you remove those, underneath, you're gonna see two bolts, 12 millimeters, and a plug. Take those out. You're gonna need a six inch um, extension for those. All right. And any other cables that you might need to disconnect, which is probably that one there too. So, I unplugged the airbag system. Um, inside in here, there is a, a thermostat. Um, do not damage it, do not touch it, um, but you can unplug it from underneath it. All right, and just to be on the safe side, I'll take it out and unplug it and put it in a safe place. This is the safe place. So pretty much this side of the dash is complete. Um, people think they need to take this off. I don't think so. All right, because we're removing the dash. Some people say, oh, to reach the tweeter, you need to remove this. Well, I could see why, because it's just in your way while you're getting your fingers in there, you know? So um, to remove this, there is a, a pin up here that, that holds it nice and tight. Um, so you want to start off here first and pop that out. Then there's three other clips in here that you could just pry out with your hands, very simple. And then it slides out, all right? Same thing for the opposite side. You have a pin on top pop that pin out and then you have three more other plugs in there that hold on to the to the chassis and then slide it out all right next thing you want to do is thug. all right so i had a bottle of uh of painkillers and they opened up on me and yeah damn it anyway uh you have two 10 millimeter bolts here you want to remove all right after you remove those two bolts leave them in there all right so you don't lose them then here you have an AC vent. You wanna pop that out. All right, pop that out. Then I already had removed it earlier. Um, so anywho, you have an eight millimeter here, and then you have four 12 millimeters. Again, I have moved it out earlier. That's why you see what you see there. All right, now that you remove those out, this does this does not simply come out um you do have a plug on the side inside and then you have another plug for the uh, for your socket in here all right for your 12 volt socket so you have two plugs to take out how i do this is i remove it from uh i remove it from like in a 45 degree angle stick my hand in there and unplug both of the 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 plugs that's why my hands are all scratched up from that all right when you pull it up all right in the 45 you stick your hand in and the tightness is going to be coming from the 12 volt um out outlet all right that's going to be holding it tight so you just can't pull it out so you stick your hand in there and you unplug it and then now you'll be able to take it out but again how i have it right here you stick your hand in here and you take out the other plug all right like so like so like so and it comes out Ugh. now you have three 12 uh three tens exposed you're gonna have one two and three all right gotta vacuum all that up anyway um as soon as you take all those three 10 millimeter bolts you want to come and now we're going to start disassembling this you want to take this piece off all right put that in a safe place too all right, don't want to lose that. Put your e-brake on, all right? And if you are in an incline, put, uh, put like a truck under your tire so your car does not roll. And then you want to go ahead and press that button in and put your car, put your car on neutral or drive or whatever the case may be. I'll put it on neutral just to be on the safe side. Next, we're going to remove the shift knob also put this in a safe place all right next thing i don't have a plastic one um but you might want to get a plastic pry bar or pry tool and you want to remove this area here all right so after you loosen it up you're gonna have one plug right there next to the shifter um unplug that and take the time to clean the area up 
if you want. All right, now to take out the CD changer that's in there. Um, you're gonna see, I have two of them, all right? Uh, the third one fell down there somewhere. So you're gonna have these eight millimeter bolts, uh, screws, one here, one in the back hiding, and then three, uh, one, two, and three, all right? Take those three out. All right, might need some wiggling, but it should come out. All right, mine comes out easily because I already had forced it out, but you know, taking those three screws out, it should come out. You have these two clips that hold it in place nice and tight. So you, you, it's gonna give you some, some bit of a fight to take it out, but it comes out. Up here, you're gonna have a plug and you're gonna have this uh, holding bracket for the wire harness. Take that out and it should all. All right, so now you have uh, two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one there and you're gonna have some eight millimeter bolts underneath it right there and of course right there um don't take those out yet they do not hold on to the radio or cd player all right so just take out those two tens all right here's all right. one now taking those two 10 millimeter bolts out um should pop out from the back all right and unplug your cables all right on your wire harness, um, when you pull out the radio, you're gonna see this clip here. Um, this clip here, what you wanna do is uh, just push down from the back, push down, and it should open up to release your wire harness. Now that the radio is uh, removed, um, we have this GPS unit that we need to, uh, to take out. Um, to do so, you wanna take your hand, um, and back here, you're gonna feel like a little, not too deep in, but you're gonna feel a plastic square. You push that out, and there you go. You are gonna wanna unplug this, or you can leave it. Uh, nope, unplug it, because again, we're removing the dash. All right, there you're gonna have uh, two tens, and then on the opposite side, you're gonna do the same. Um, probably from here, you wanna do it from inside, um, because we're not removing this yet or maybe damn it all right anyway yeah but uh, if you could reach through there awesome if you can't you're gonna have to uh, wait until you get to this part all right so unfortunately i cannot stick my hand in there to take out this uh to take out these buttons um so i will need to take out the um the dashboard cover not the dashboard cover excuse me the cluster cover all right they come with these two screws all right when uh when you start unscrewing them you got to pop them out with your fingers and they're located right here above the cluster um, cover now i'm not sure if um these have bolts underneath it um to remove that dash cover if so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel. It has two eight millimeter bolts, one there, or screws, one there and one down there, and it should come off. I'm not gonna plug anything here because again, I'm just removing the dashboard. If I do, then I'll come back to that. But I have to remove all this here to get to, I think I see a bolt in there somewhere, um, a 10 millimeter, but to do that, I'm gonna have to disassemble this area. Also, there's an airbag down here too. Jeez. All right, now to remove that, you're gonna have a, a 10 millimeter bolt here and another 10 millimeter bolt there, this one. All right. All right, after you take out those bolts, you wanna take this off um, and unplug just for the simple fact that when you do remove this, this is gonna be causing some, uh, some pressure that you can't even, you know, remove. Um, there's also that and this button here. All right, and after you remove those three um, cables, all right, you're gonna see a eight millimeter hiding in there. And, uh, and this eight millimeter, you'll be doing it with a ratchet. Oh shit. All right, so after I took out those bolts, um, everything was, you know, detaching nice until I got to the um, compartment here for the change. Yes, I broke it, all right? Um, what I did not know was that underneath, you could take out the, um, the trunk opener, all right? But under the parking, 
All right, remember, if you're in an incline, if you release this, your car is going to go flying forward. Um, happened to me. Um, so uh, make sure your car is back on park. Um, pull the lever up, and then you're going to see uh, two bolts there, and then two other bolts there. And that's going to release your coin compartment. All right, and those are gonna be 10 millimeter bolts. So you're gonna to wanna to use a six inch extension. All right, just remember, just to be careful again, um, I did not remove this at the junkyard, so I did not know that this was gonna uh, be there, but it has two 10 millimeter bolts underneath it. Um, so you will need to remove that first before you take out anything else and then the the two other the other two tens is to remove this parking brake all right there's two uh two pins there that go there so you know it's it goes back to the correct spot um before you go ahead and reinstall everything so with that being said and done i'll be able to unplug this uh, af afs plug back here and i should be free oh there's another plug over there dang it that's a sensor I guess it's for the for the AC system. I removed all this down there and I was under the suspicion that there was a bolt here holding the cluster cover and apparently that's not true all right there is an eight millimeter bolt but that holds on to this here and there is another 10 millimeter that holds on to the key ignition uh, so I'm gonna play with this for a little bit more and uh, hopefully it comes out. Gotta remove this and also be careful when removing this. It's giving me a headache already on taking it out. So be careful. All right, so uh, I was able to get out the, the cluster cover. Um, the cluster cover, again, it's gonna be two screws on top. All right, you do not need to remove the bottom. All right, even though I still gotta take off the dash, I still had to take this off. All right. so. Go ahead and uh, take out those two screws and remove the dash. You got to play with it. Um, I'm, you're going to have the odometer plug here that you need to remove. And the alarm system plug that's in the back. Unplug it for there and this should come out. Now after removing the plug from the back and the odometer buttons, this should come straight off. Like so. Ugh. All right, put that in the back too. Now that we removed the dash cover, all this is an attempt to uh, to take out these buttons. All right, again, on the passenger side, you have two screws. On this side, you're gonna have two more screws, but you need to take this out. And by doing so, you take your hand back there and you push it out. All right, since I'm not gonna be using this uh, dash anymore, um, this was a little pain in the ass to remove compared to the passenger side. The passenger side came out pretty quick. This one was a little bit of a fight. Um, I had to uh, stick my uh, a flathead screwdriver in there and try not to damage this if uh, you're just removing this uh, system. All right, um, yeah, that was a little pain in the ass. Um, you'll go ahead, yank that out and expose those cables and course unplug it all right then you should be having good access and clear access to the gps touchscreen unit now after you remove those four screws they're phillips or eight millimeters you're gonna want to go ahead and play with it and it should come right off unplug the cables and your navi system should be free okay, so after you remove the dash navi system this is how your center console should be looking like, all right? You're gonna have a plug here for the 12 volt um, charger in the back. And I just realized there's like a, an antenna cord here. Pretty cool. Uh, fortunately, I don't have that system on my car. Um, next, what you're gonna wanna do is remove this eight millimeter bolt. There's another eight millimeter bolt that I had removed earlier. Um, while I was disassembling the, uh, the glove compartment, you're gonna have another eight millimeter here and another eight millimeter here. And um, you should 
slide right out. So after removing those eight millimeters and the two down there and the one from over there and I'm plugging that, this here should be free. Ugh. Put that over there. All right. There you go. And she's out. Now that our center console is all out, all right, if you want to clean up, go ahead and clean up. Looks like the last owner had a dog or something. Um, looks like it had dog hair. Yuck. So I'll be cleaning that out. Um, next, let's take out the cluster. Cluster is going to be four Phillips. One, two, three, four, with a plug in the back. Right. One or two. Now, after pulling out your cluster, there is one plug. Uh, disconnect that plug and this should come out nice and easy and there she goes so now that the cluster is out um this is going to be the tricky part all right remember the ac sensor that i had over there on the passenger side there is one here on the driver's side um however this sucker does not want to come out if you could get it out all right I just don't want to take a chance and break something else, so I'm going to leave it on. Um, so there is a sensor in there, so be careful when yanking this dash out. Um, there is going to be a cable in there somewhere for that sensor. All right. Um, next step is going to be taking out the bolts. All right. There's going to be multiple bolts you're going to be taking out from here. Um, it's going to be a, a few, not a lot. Um, there are some wires that's going to be holding onto your dash. All right, there's gonna be one here. This harness right here that's holding onto your dash. Another harness here that's holding onto your dash. Um, you're gonna have this unit here that's holding onto your dash. There is a uh, one and two clips. You push those two clips and then this is gonna be free. To get these plugs out, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but um, get those plugs um, free. So you could probably squeeze your hand in there and get that sensor out all right be careful with that sensor you're gonna have a plug here all right unplug that because that's also connected to your dash all right again there's multiple wires that's connected to the dash i believe there's some down here too um so yeah let's uh go ahead and you're gonna start have that. one nut 10 millimeter nut that you're gonna be taking off over here you're gonna have a 10 millimeter screw that's gonna come off here, you're gonna have one hiding, a 10 millimeter nut, you're gonna wanna take off. Then you're gonna have two 10 millimeter screws here that you're gonna take off that's connected to the ignition key. And for me, this is where the flexible drive comes in handy. I was able to use it for the key ignition and this one over here. Now, after taking out those screws, I was being nosy just to, like, it was just bugging me why I can't take this out. Um, I'll, I'll look at that later but over here this wire right here is the actual sensor for the AC um, for the driver's side this is the sensor for the for the air so you could take it out from here and there she is um, let's just unplug that and uh, put it in a safe spot so it don't break after you take uh, that sensor out we're gonna go down here under the, the key ignition. There is a, another 10 millimeter, and this is to remove this out of place. Um, again, cause this is holding the dashboard up here. Um, you need to take that 10 millimeter out. Underneath, right, <laughs> right here, you're gonna have two 14 millimeter nuts, one and two. All right, one and two, and they're gonna be 14 millimeter. You're gonna need a long, a long socket to take them out. All right, now now that this is loose, all right, this side of the area should be loose. Next, we wanna take out this 10 millimeter bolt. That's where the wires be holding on to. There's one here on this side, and then there's another one on this side. And then over here should be kind of 
on the loose side too. All right, so I loosened up the hose. I mean, sorry, loosen up the cables from each of these sides. So the dash should be starting to start feeling a little bit loose. Uh, however, again, remember you need to remove this uh, wire harness jumper, I guess you want to call it. There's two tabs there. You grab it with a fl flathead screwdriver each side and it comes out. Now you gotta unplug it from the back. Um, this is not fun. Um, unplug it and the reason why you wanna unplug it, again, cause while you're removing this dash, um, it, it comes in from the, some vent in the back and it, it arches in or I guess angles in or angles out, however you wanna do it. There is a body harness back here that makes it, let me see the body harness is right there that makes that arch black thing right there that you see kind of impossible to take out but it is possible yeah so i got my arm stuck in here um no i don't you want to stick your arm in here you're gonna you're gonna see a a white not a white but a harness um, that goes to the back that one right there Shit. that one right there all right and that goes to the sensor up there it is a plug. It's a good thing that the plug is just facing the, the plug. Unlatching plug faces you. So you want to stick your arm in there. Press the button. You could actually do it with your eyes closed. And take that cable out. So that sensor should be free. All right. Now, just going back, uh, using as the old one as a reference. Should have looked at it first, huh? I was able to see... <laughs> that I was able to take those nuts out. Anyway, um, there is an immobilizer here. Uh, I did cut the cables because, uh, you know, if my car came with it, all I needed to do was unplug it and plug it back in. Um, however, my O5 does not come with this ECU immobilizer. So I do not need that. I will be taking it out because removing that actually um, is what gives me enough space to put the sensor on top of the dashboard a lot easier again um up here you're gonna see that hose that, that i'm sorry that wire that connects there um you do not need to move that box but it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get that um wire from the opposite end unplugged um so i'll be doing that right now. all right so there you see that box you don't need to remove it um but you need to get that cable out from the back of it removed Okay, so I was able to disconnect that cable. Um, I went ahead and I removed the pillars. The A pillars, remove them. You will be needing to remove them to remove the dash. And the simple reason is because it holds right there. So when you're trying to pull out, the A pillar is actually pushing down. That's why I questioned some of the guys that that done the... What? We're gonna go to my brother's house really quick. Oh, for what? Oh, okay. All right, sorry about that. My son came out. Um, so the A pillars actually hold against here. So that's why I can't even um, picture why people say they, they could remove, you know, the, the tweeter. Or if it's not a tweeter. Nah, that's a big argument of its own. Anyway, um, you know, without removing the A pillar. So um, I had to remove the A pillars. So then I could go ahead and start yanking this puppy out. So by removing the A pillars... Um, there it goes, she's uh, free. But remember, like I stated before, um, the body harness holds on to the vent that goes from the back. Um, so it's like, a, it's arch. So it's kind of like a pain in the ass to remove. Hopefully it's not a pain, as much as a pain to put it back in. So, um, right, if it wasn't for that, it will come out um, easy peasy. But of course, Lexus, Oh, I, I like to blame the engineers. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna be easy to take out. So um, I'll be right back. Uh, fuck, watch out with this shit. That shit hurts. Ugh. All right, so the next one is, uh, yeah. So I got this side out, um, how to yank it, how to put some elbow grease on there. Um, went to the other side. All right, remove the top of the steering wheel, 
column cover all right there's going to be uh two screws you move the steering since there's no power it will not lock so you have one screw there phillips and then when you turn the wheel you should have another screw there and the cover should come off and then you should have uh, some free access over here there is a speaker wire here i'm trying to find the the plug to disconnect it um but it, it's not up there where you would think it would be um it's a little bit more further down so i'll be getting to that right now all right to disconnect it you go underneath here you're gonna find this uh this plug that's uh up here that's the plug for the speaker um you're gonna go ahead and just uh, 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 uh where are you right there and disconnect it right all right she doesn't want to come up there we go just like so um and there is another one on the other side fucking sore right there there's another one so uh let's go ahead and uh detach that one too and there she goes nice and loose and i fucked up my nail all right now that all that is all disconnected um again i had to yank this puppy out so i could bypass or not bypass uh overpass that um body harness i'm gonna see what i could do to make that so i could shift that body harness a little bit more forward so then when i put in the the new uh, dash it just slides in and then i'll be able to put the dash um i mean the uh, body harness um, back into position so stick around all right so this is uh the arch i was talking about it goes from here to here uh, what this does is uh it when you open up that vent it allows the air to come up through here um so that's pretty much the area that's like the most difficult part there goes the body harness that i was talking about um right there with the red tape um it's really difficult to to get it out because of that so i'm gonna have to try to see an easier way to put this back in okay all right Whew. so again the junkyard i went to um the steering wheel column was loose um i remembered that kind of like right now while i was trying to remove this wondering why this is not coming out um so underneath right <laughs> Right here, you're gonna have two 14 millimeter nuts, one and two. All right, one and two, and they're gonna be 14 millimeter. You're gonna need a long, a long socket to take them out. All right, so she's out. Had to drop the pillar. I totally forgot about that at the junkyard. Um, so, recap, fuck this job. <laughs> I wouldn't do it again. Um, so hopefully everything goes back in smoothly. Um, whew, that was a that was a pretty massive job. So here she is, the old dashboard, new dashboard. I will be swapping out the the tweeters, speakers, whatever you want to call it, the sensor. I'll be taking that one, put it on there. Airbag system. I'm gonna be putting it on there. The vent from over there, I'm going to be putting it on there. And everything should bolt right back up. Also, there is a computer inside there that um, I'm going to be putting it on here. Again, this one does not, mine did not have a uh, immobilizer unit. So I'll be taking that off. And there is another computer there. And as a body uh, MPX box is what they call them. Taking that one off and put, putting it on this one. Well, if this one comes up with it, I'll just check the part number and the plug, hopefully it's the same. All right, uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, sorry with the back and forth. Um, uh, again, I didn't, there was some stuff that the junkyard already had done. The folks that, uh, that went to the junkyard before me already had done. And um, so yeah, hopefully um, you find this video informative please watch the video first please watch the video first um the extra tools i needed to use was a 14 millimeter lawn socket 
that was not mentioned in the beginning of the video. Um, and that is to drop the steering column. You need to drop the steering column for this job. All right. So next clip should be hopefully with this new one on.